Good morning from the south, guys, the swampy south. Uh, good old Mississippi here. Now we're going to be getting back on the Great River Road and going south. What a beautiful, gorgeous day. In case you're wondering about the weather today, tonight the low is 59 degrees here in Mississippi, everywhere from here and south. Not only is it not going to freeze overnight for the first time in over a month for me in the RV, but yeah, 58 degrees is the low. It's going to be a warm night in the RV and I'm welcoming it. And what's not to love about the south? Here we have a native creature. Oh no, that's a tire. Never mind. Don't get me wrong. I love the Northwest. I love the North. I even love the desert. But there is something really pretty about the swampy South. Keep our eyes open for a gator now. Because them is some gator breeding grounds, folks. I tell you what. It almost looks like cave-like stalagmites sticking out of the swamp. <laughs> oh, a cypress tree. I finally just today figured out what you call these unique southern trees that have that awesome base that goes into the ground. It's a cypress tree. Cool. I didn't catch any wildlife, so let's get on the road and go chase this good weather south right along the Great River Road, Mississippi River. Look at some of these houses on the Mississippi River has to cost a fortune and they're way up high too so they've probably experienced some flooding before on their property probably this little rough road i'm on right now is not the great river road it's a little access road that's actually closer to the mississippi river than the great river road to my left kind of funny they don't want tourists driving through here because it's everybody owns property on the mississippi just a lot prettier in my opinion but okay we'll go back to the real great river road that's farther away from the river okay onward oh that's the actual name of this town this, this town that has apparently one little store here it's called onward in mississippi and do you guys does anybody else read these historical signs while, while you're driving i know a lot of people skip them Check this out. It says, Teddy Roosevelt's bear hunt. President Theodore Roosevelt came to Smeeds two miles south in 1902 to hunt. On November 14th, Roosevelt refused to shoot a captive bear. Cartoons of the event are thought to have led to the creation of the teddy bear. Yeah, we have found the origins and home of the teddy bear. Thank you, Teddy Roosevelt, for saving the bear. First, though, look at these cozy trees and a little creek behind the store here. A little rocking chair hanging from the tree. Life is good. No rush. <laughs> also, uh, we're in the land of cotton. You can see an unharvested uh, field of cotton out here. Yeah, that's not snow. That's cotton, guys. Most of the ones I've been seeing, have already, the fields have already been harvested, and they look like big marshmallows in the field, like the hay of back home. But uh, this one still needs to be collected. I could be wrong, but isn't this a type of palm tree? I'm pretty sure that we are looking at our first, well, palm family plant at least, not a palm tree, but that means we're, we're definitely heading south. Cool. Let's go in this uh, place. I really like this porch here near the store. Here's the onward sign with Holt Collier and Theodore Roosevelt bringing us teddy bear and Christmas presents. So inside the country store, you got a teddy bear up here. All cute and cuddly, not really, but they got jam and all sorts of stuff. And of course, Christmas tree over there. That's nice. And I got the last magnet in the store. Onward store with the bear claw in there. I like the little magnets. I gotta, I gotta dock them a couple points for playing Nickelback. I, really, guys? Nickelback. How'd you know it was Nickelback, Eric? So I think we'll just follow the signs on the Great River Road and have some more fun today. Mm -hmm.
Sure, I don't do it often, but state parks are the prettiest places in each state. And I don't mind paying 25 bucks a night for hookups, even though I really don't need the hookups. Um, believe it or not, it's 73 degrees today here in Mississippi in December. Yeah. So I got the power and the water hooked up. I'll dump the tank on the way out. Neat little park here though. Look at this place, not a soul here. But I am glad they're open and a really pretty pond here as well. I don't think there's any fish in there, but it's nice. As you saw, I already have the motorcycle unloaded off the RV, hoping to uh, do some exploring in the area today. So that the RV is all hooked up, I don't have to worry about unplugging or parking it. Good deal. What? I'm having a hot dog. You're having cat food. That's how we do that. Is that pretty good? You sharing? Oh, nom, 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 nom. Neat park. Mm -hmm. What do you hear? Okay. They also gave me this neat Great River Road keychain. Canada to Gulf. I haven't seen anything like this actually on the road. I still have not found like, like the wheel, the helm in a in a magnet form yet either. So cool beans. Can I have some? Are you sharing? No, Dad. You got a hot dog. All right. What did you do? Foul. Foul. That's for the chipmunks later. Oh, show them some cat butt. There you go. Can we censor that, please? Yeah, we're going to leave the campground and go explore a little bit on Falcor today. I got a lead from the office up there, and we haven't even looked at the rest of the campground, but first I want to go check this out before it gets dark because there's some ruins. Let's go check out the ruins. This thing up to top speed, guys. 57, 58, 59. Come on, 60. There we go. When I was checking into the office there, I asked the lady, I like I always do, if I sit down in the bar anywhere, hey, is there anything awesome that I gotta see that you'd recommend? I said, well, have you ever been to the Windsor Ruins? You're not gonna be able to get an RV there. And I said, well, good thing I have a motorcycle on the back of my RV. She said, oh, you're, you'll be perfect then. I have no problem getting there. So she drew me a little map, and I got it plugged into my Google here on the iPhone. And she also said, oh, just so you know, you're not going to get any service up at the campground. And I said, well, I got I to gotta trick up my sleeve, actually. <laughs> I have a cell phone booster on the RV. And she said, well, let me know how it works. I went back down there and told her, yeah, I got two bars of 4G LTE Verizon, usable service. Wow, she wanted some information on the booster too, so I told her about it. It's worked really well, I don't even use it all the time, but any, you know, I pretty much keep the booster turned off actually, and then if I need it, actually this is my turn right here, then I turn it on. And it's been working really well when I need it. All right, this is our road. I'm gonna keep putting uh, Supreme in her. Uh, I've only filled up once so far, and I've got 99 miles on her. She's about to roll over to 100 on this trail. And then about 700 or 800 miles, I will do it her first oil change. I just love how the sun peeks through the branches. So pretty. It's funny too, because when I left Minnesota, I was seeing this. And now we're seeing it way down here in southern Mississippi. <laughs> That's the cool part about, well, following the changing colors of fall. Right, this is at Windsor Ruins.
Oh, wow. The cop to our left. Oh, my gosh. Wow. All right, I'll park it and get out my other camera. By the way, I'm wearing my uh, older all-black jacket. It's a lot thinner, lets in a lot more air. Um, I still have my, my neon green one uh, for use when it's colder, but uh, this one this one's a little more comfortable. So let's, let's read up on this. Okay, let me summarize the boring stuff first. It's called the Windsor Ruins, and Smith copied Daniel II, a successful cotton planner, completed construction of Windsor in 1861. Ironically, he died in April of 1861, only weeks after completing this mansion. His wife and children continued to live at Windsor, but were left to suffer the loss of much of the family's holdings during the Civil War. Windsor's basic style was Greek Revival, but with added details borrowed from Italian and Gothic architecture. The house contained 23 rooms with an above-ground basement, two residential floors, and an attic. Rainwater stored in large tanks in the attic supplied two bathrooms. A cupola from which Mississippi River could be viewed was centered on top of the roof. So you could actually see the Mississippi River from this top room up here. And that's all that's left. Let me uh, ride back and check in on Jackson. We'll see the sunset from our campsite at the state park. Listen, crickets and nature and frogs, no trains, no semis, no screaming kids at the moment. I love it. I wanna take some me time also this afternoon, so uh, I will check back in when appropriate. Okay, guys. So my night plans, well, besides cuddling with Jax, I got mac and cheese and milk and on the big screen we're gonna watch some Better Call Saul. Chillaxin' man, yeah. Just loving the peace and quiet out here, I really really am. I'm gonna spend two nights out here. But I'll be back as normal from the Great River Road on Friday guys. So have a good night, Jax and I will see you Friday morning, bye.